everyone, and welcome back to another Island Sanctuary video. I'm really excited because today we're talking about some of my favorite things, creature comfort and creature care. So if you're looking to have some happy fluffy creatures on your island, be sure to not only watch this video to the end, but share this with friends as well as maybe give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content. We have a lot going on today, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Before you can really have creature comfort, you have to have creatures. So here's a quick way in how you can go ahead and capture some new fluffy friends. Simply change your mode to capture, and from capture mode, you can choose your item of capture. Lower levels are going to have the makeshift net, so this will be the first restraint you use. Capture is all about RNG, so sometimes you can get them really fast, and other times it will take you a while. Alongside the everyday creatures you can catch on the island sanctuary, you'll find rare and wonderful creatures. For instance, the Onri Caracol spawns in this location, X20, Y23. There are many animals that spawn with specific timers, and also with specific weather conditions. So I'll be sure to link in the description below a guide that helped me find a few new friends. For instance, the Akalu of Paradise, spawning at X15, Y19, spawns between 12 and 3 p.m. While the Lemur at X20, Y26, spawns from 6 to 9 a.m. Sometimes the RNG is not in your favor, and unfortunately, a special spawn can sometimes be outside of your grass. That's okay though. You always have other tries. You can care for your friends here on the island by doing a couple of different actions, including feeding, petting, and beckoning them to you. Let's go ahead and try these out, shall we? I'm going to start by beckoning one of my new friends. Here he comes now. I think he's in the mood for a nice little pet. There we go. Now he's a little happier, but I bet he would be happier with some food. When you're first starting off, you're going to have the island sweet pea. This is a very common low-level feed. However, you will soon be getting island green feed as well as premium island green feeds as you continue and level up your island. Let's see how he does today. Wow, he really likes that one. I'd call it a success. As mentioned before, apples are going to be the start of your feed experience and you'll want to gather a lot of these as soon as you're able to. Additionally, growing items such as lettuce, pumpkins, parsnips, and potatoes will allow you to create better feed for the future. After you've gathered plenty of items, you can go to your crafting log, choose a feed, and create your feed from there. Island green feeds are going to require you to do gardening, and you can use a variety of vegetables to create these. Island green feed requires one vegetable, while the premium requires two of any type. Once a day, as long as you are taking good care of your island animals, you can collect what's called leavings. These are items that are only available from monsters and cannot be collected on the island sanctuary any other way. Feed, pet, and take care of your animals, and they'll provide you with items every single day. <sighs> I know that was a lot of information, but hopefully this will take you one step closer to really taking good care of the animals in your island sanctuary. And let me know if this video was a help to you. Be sure to subscribe for more content, and of course, liking and sharing this video will help it go a long way. Don't forget I also stream Final Fantasy XIV content as well as other content on my Twitch, and I hope to hang out with you soon. See you guys in another video! Bye!